Communalism and politicization of Islam in India are at its peak. Never ending hatred against Islam by Indian government and Hindutva extremists have made the life of Muslims a living hell. Bigotry is not in easy to alter. Many peculiar things emerged from the manner in which the Bharatiya Janata Party attempted to handle the fuss created by its spokespersons Nupur Sharma and Naveen Jindal. India's Muslims were frightened but the government didn't care. Hate speech has been so efficiently and thoroughly normalized in India under Modi's regime that society and even the state have become impassive. Jindal tweeted, repeating Sharma's slur, five days later. The headlong retreat of the government happened on Sunday, the 10th day after Sharma spoke. First, a benign statement, then hours later, action against the duo, and hours after that, a conditional retraction from Sharma. It shows how unaware the party was of the damage it has caused. The absence of Jay Shankar and Modi from the largest foreign mess one can remember India being in is also telling. Social media has bluntly exposed BJP. A significant number of Muslims are angered by the BJP's retreat and muffled apology. After 2014, the BJP has legislated to target Muslims over food, prayers, marriage, divorce, citizenship, dress, and, and azan. What more can be done to harass Muslims through law and policy is difficult to conceive. India is targeting its Muslims through the Citizenship Amendment Act. The problem is that having a democratized violence against Muslims across the country and having been electorally rewarded for this, Modi must consider what it means for India's doomed future.